welcome to my bedroom i think this might be the first youtube video i'm actually filming in here so welcome to my bedroom i have decided to do something a little bit more light-hearted and fun today um please excuse my incredibly frizzy hair i tried washing it yesterday but i had to do it all one-handed because uh decided to hurt myself and my hair is like super super frizzy so i'm trying to keep it back with this headband so i can do a makeup video today but it's going to be a makeup video with a bit of a fun twist because i am left-handed and this that's my left hand bah. so i'm gonna do a makeup video today using my right hand which is my non-dominant hand so let's hope i don't poke an eye out to you know compliment this i ended up hurting myself last week i wanted to take a pretty picture because i was out in the mountains i was in an area called upper beach mount which is like mount tambourine here gold coast is the coast here it's just like behind and in front of mount tambourine not that far from the new south wales border but yeah it's beautiful it's so lush and green and like not what you think of for you know queensland tropical mountain it's not bushy it's beautiful lush rainforest it looks so vibrant and beautiful i wanted to take a photo at this beautiful lookout point that was near the headmaster's cafe and because i'm on the short side there was a little bench nearby i'm like oh i'll stand on the bench to take the picture never got the picture because the bench was very unstable normally i jump off benches that are wobbly straight away because in all my years i never once thought to like test a surface before jumping on it but i didn't test it and for some reason i didn't jump off when it wobbled i tried to stabilize it and don't do that bad idea so i felt backwards like fully backwards cartoon style everything very very awkwardly and I felt the weird pop. I could feel the pop and I could feel that things were not where they were supposed to be. And I only saw my elbow for like maybe a second and that was nightmare fuel. Not joking. It was like the, oof, your, your brain, your body like does not want to see that. But I dislocated my elbow and it was very creepy. The cool thing was it was the first time I ever got to be in an ambulance because an ambulance was called um the people at the headmaster cafe were great they brought like a pillow because i wasn't allowed to sit up or move because i had fallen over backwards and you know neck and back injury potential blah blah so they brought a pillow for me somebody else was holding an umbrella over me because i'm as white as a ghost and you know sun don't want spontaneous combustion on top of the dislocated elbow and that 20 minutes for the ambulance to arrive like I studied the grass so well, I'm going to remember that particular area forever. And then the ambulance people came and they gave me something they called a lollipop to suck on, which is like this little portable gas thing and you suck on it and I'm not going to lie, it's amazing. It's so amazing that I remember the ambulance people coming and talking to me and calling a lollipop sucker and giving it to me and I took a few deep breaths and then blank nothing and then I was like on the stretcher being moved into the ambulance so they reconnected my elbow and I did not remember a single second of it which I feel like is amazing because I suspect that was like extra painful so that gas thing oh, amazing but yeah I am technically like out of everything and work for like a month <laughs> which isn't great but it does mean plenty of time to do fun things and I have decided that today's fun thing is gonna be a light-hearted fun YouTube video but I'm gonna try and do my makeup with my non-dominant hand and hopefully it's not gonna look like absolutely terrible but I have my little mirror here Anybody who knows, you know, I shot myself Becca Rodica probably knows what this is like. Wow. So I have my mirror. So I can do that right here instead. Uh, let's see how, I guess, ridiculous <laughs> I'm going to look by trying to do everything with instead of. I also have this here. 
So I'm hoping this is going to help with the whole focus thing. It's called focus, so it should help with focus, right? Like that's in the name. So, ah, isn't it look pretty? It's a little condensation-y. But it is from Juice Lab Wellness, sparkling lemon with ginger and yingxing, plant-based, all natural, no added sugar, sparkling, juicy thingamajiggy that is supposed to help you with your focus. And it just occurred to me that I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to open this, but it looks good. Ah, I just got this at like Woolworths, fellow Australians, yay, in the house. So I'm just going to try and open this with like one hand and not spilling it everywhere. So I got this to help with focus and I hope it's delicious. You can taste the ginger. Oh my goodness, this has bite. Wow, that's, a, that's quite a bit of ginger. You like ginger and lemon? I guess it's ginger and lemon that's bubbly. It's not very sweet at all. Like, I know it says no added sugar, but, like, I kind of, I think I expected a bit of stevia or sweetener in here. Whew! This is a lot of ginger. If you like ginger, recommend. So let's hope that helps with the focus. I am not a makeup artist. Like, at all, I am very, very average with makeup. I'm, like, surely in the C grade level of makeup. Maybe not. I get complimented on my makeup and I do quite a bit of makeup for like work because I work in entertainment. So sometimes I do like fantasy or glamour styles. Usually it's the same casual style. I think I've always done casual style for every video I've ever done on here. So maybe I'll be a B minus level student. So uh, this is me with no makeup on. I have a little bit of moisturizer already on my skin, but otherwise there's absolutely nothing Anyway, no eyebrows, no eyelashes. As you can tell, I have no eyelashes. Ginger Club. So I'm just gonna have like average normal makeup. I have pretty brushes. I love my brushes because they are mermaid. Ah, mermaid tail. Mermaid tail, pretty brushes. So I have like the big ones and the little ones. Swimming away, swim, swim. I do like my makeup brushes, but like everything else is just really basic, normal grade, like pharmacy grade makeup. There's nothing like uber special on here. I mean, I do have good foundation. So my foundation is Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I got this at Sephora and I got it from Sephora because they basically said this is great for like, I guess influencers. They said it was great for people who are like under lighting and stage and set. So like it's good for that and it builds up and I just took them for the word. And my other fancy thing is my powder because it is Dior. And that's just because when I went to Bali, I remembered to pack every bit of makeup except face powder. And I only remembered that I had zero face powder when I was at the airport. So I tried to buy something there because I wasn't sure how well I'd find ghost tint in Bali, being, you know, part of Indonesia. So I bought the powder that best suited my skin tone. And lo and behold, it happened to be the Dior one. So this is like the most expensive makeup I have ever owned. But I got this years ago, like literally like four or five years ago now. I think it was five years and you can see how much is still in here after five years so I guess like it's kind of worth it in the long term but yeah everything else is just like fun kind of stuff like yeah the funny fun things that you can get at like Priceline or whatever drugstore is near you so it's nothing particularly fancy anyway let's try doing my makeup one-handed I wanted to use the mirror but I also want to like look at the camera which is literally just my phone so maybe I can put the mirror like next to the camera um so it's kind of I can it looks like I'm looking at you guys <laughs> and talking to you guys and not just staring at myself in the mirror how do people do this uh, but yeah this is my uh Fakarotica style um mirror hey you you can see my flowery shop with the purple fairy lights and the and the Ariel Builder Bear. <laughs> so let's see if this works. And yeah, 
let's see how I look with uh, non-functioning. Uh, I mean, I can sort of use my hands. I can use it to like twist bottles off, but I can't really lift or bend it or touch my face with it. So can't touch my face, can't touch my hair, but I can use it to unscrew things like the lid. So that's something. Anyway, let's try doing my makeup with my right hand, which sounds really plain and simple. Most people are so you remember I'm left-handed. I'm a lefty. Technically, I'm like a unicorn of humans because I have natural red hair. I'm left-handed and I have green eyes. So like when it comes to genetics, I have like the rarer things for everything. So I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like a literal human unicorn. Yay! <laughs> anyway, um, primer! I've got this. I don't know what brand it is. Wonder 2 Primer Behold Professional Primer of the Cots. I got this a long time ago. So it came with pure blue pigment. And I actually used this with some of my mermaid makeup. But I'm using this one because it has like a lip gloss brush thingy. And that's going to make it easier than my normal eyeshadow primer, which I use my finger for. But I feel like this is going to have better control than the wrong hand. The thing. Anyway, let's try. Uh, this already feels like it's not going quite as I wanted it to. I spoke too soon. I just poked myself in the eye. <laughs> this is going to be fun with the mascara part. Oh, the eyeliner. I got the primer. I'm going to use my finger anyway. I don't really do primer on my whole face. Being in Australia, I wear um, moisturizing sunscreen a lot because we are the land of the sun and Queensland is the state of the sun. So I have uh, moisturizing sunscreen, non tinted kind, and I kind of use that like primer instead. But I do put primer on my eyes. I think that's just a habit from all my mermaid stuff because that helped the eyeshadow to hold better underwater and it didn't run off as much. All right, next challenge, opening the palette with one hand. I might have to use my mouth. Ah, oh, got him! So I don't even know if this is a brand. I think this is just like cheap, basic palette that has like natural colors. And little things that fall out when I try to hold it up. So nothing fancy. And I have like the thickest of the small brushes. Because again, not a really a makeup person. So I don't know. And honestly, the color in the mermaid tail was like the big deal about my makeup brushes. And why I bought these ones. White. I'm just going to do the makeup that I do for like every day kind of wear. And nothing like elaborate or fancy. Um, because I'm kind of hoping some sort of muscle memory can transfer between hands. Actually, it doesn't feel that bad. I kind of feel like this might not go as terrible as I first envisioned. I really hope so. Yeah. Alright. Just on the top. And then on the inner eyelid. So that's where all the colours are held. And you want to see some of my freckles. I have like one freckle on this eyelid on the inner bit and it drives me crazy because I feel like you can see it through the makeup even though I'm also relatively certain that I see it and nobody else actually ever sees it or pays attention to it because it's like you know pimples and everything else where you notice the flaws a whole lot more than anyone else in the world will ever notice anything. And yeah that's going to be for a couple of the freckles I think but Apparently freckles are in right now, like people are giving themselves fake freckles, which honestly just seems crazy to me. It probably seems crazy to every kid who's ever been teased for having freckles, and now people are painting fake freckles on. So, yeah. Now I'm going to have my shimmery white for the inner eye and owl bottom eyelid. I am getting some of that light shimmery eyeshadow on my eye. I can feel it in this eye. Alrighty. 
to me get to go to the fun stuff now i have like a nude powder color so i'm gonna put some of that nude powder color for the rest of this bit here <laughs> doesn't feel like I'm doing a great job but it looks like I'm covering it. and honestly you can't really see this I feel like these bases are just invisible anyway why do we do them do they have a point probably do but another little basic color which is all like white and skin color stuff which for me is white with the tiniest bit of like a cream I, I think <laughs> you can't see a thing I think that's okay though All right now I'm gonna do like I have a little pinky peach kind of color and I like using the pinky peaches because I feel like it complements my hair but it also allows it to be like kind of like I think an easy subtle color that manages and like blends into my skin I think this is going okay. And now a slightly shimmery version of that peachy colour. Alright, now we're going into the actual colours, which is where I'm probably going to start more obviously messing up. Yay! Right, let's, let's try this brownie, peachy, peachy brown. We'll just say peachy brown. On the plus side, if it looks like nothing for all the colours, then I'm less likely to mess it all up. But somehow you can see things when my whole face is done, so like, probably not the safety I'm hoping for. Right, pinky, pinky brownie color, which is almost empty because I use it all the time. And I kind of like just whack myself on the inner bit of my nose just there. Again, hopefully no one's going to notice. I feel like I can notice. Oh well. Going to have to go to the darker stuff. Can't hide it, hide from it this whole time. But I might as well not have any makeup on. And now the dark colors. I watch so many people doing their makeup and filming it and talking at the same time. And it's honestly harder than it looks. But I don't know what to talk about right now. <laughs> and I'm like focusing and concentrating at the same time. Is that multitasking supposed to be something girls are like instinctively good at? I feel like I'm, I didn't get that gene. But I'm honestly not that like horrified by how things are turning out despite using the wrong hand. Like I feel like the end product might actually be kind of presentable and decentish. I mean, I probably screwed up more with the eyeliner and the mascara. But like eyeshadow and like the foundation and powder and stuff is a bit more forgiving because it's so much blending involved. But I kind of feel like it's not being like too, too terrible right now. Of course, I haven't done the bottom lids yet, which are probably more difficult. And this is just like the big, the big fluffy eye brush, which compared to like all the eye brushes is honestly quite a bit a bit different size i'm using like the big one i feel like it's not going too too terrible right now you can tell i'm wearing some makeup and it doesn't look like absolutely hideous i don't think yay all right now this bit is probably going to be the more difficult part because it's the bit that goes like on the under eye and I feel like this bit is more likely to get messed up please don't poke myself in the eye 
Please don't poke myself in the eye. Hey, didn't poke myself in the eye yet. And you can see there's some like color appearing and I have features. the brush the right way now. Did get myself in the eye a little bit. Out. <sighs> Put myself in the eye a lot. Oof. So the big fluffy brush, easy. Little brush already poked myself like twice. that blinking away wet tear stained eyes that makes my eyes look shiny right shiny so shiny i'm shiny like a wealthy woman's neck ah look that color on my eyes i also have like so much powder like here and here um I feel like it's a lot more powder than I usually get there. So I'm going to put that on to the wrong hand. Do I need this anymore? I have my Burt's Bees Nourishing Facial Water. I got this with one of those Bella boxes. And I had no idea what it's ever for. But what I use it for now is to get rid of like excess powder. Because it, it works. That's pretty much the reason why. It works and I've just started using it for that because I wasn't entirely sure what else it was for and if it's not broken, <laughs> right? So I'm going to just get rid of all that extra powder. Look at all, that's how much came off. Like just from the inner corners and the bottom. The eyeshadow that like pours down. Like that is a lot of excess powder. Ah, so eyes are pretty much done. Okay, I'm gonna try to do my whole eyes first, I think. Um, just because if I mess up, I can like fix the foundation and powder later. So, oh, how am I gonna do this with one, with my wrong hand? All right, this is probably the part where I'm gonna start messing up a lot more noticeably. It is eyeliner time. Now my eyeliner is Urban Decay with a little peacock on it. It's very pretty and it's just like a dark brown. Oh, I can, ah, I can hold it this way up. <coughs> I don't have COVID, I promise. Ooh. All right, again for the way I look. Did I put any on this brush yet? Yes, all right. <laughs> hoping that I don't mess this up totally. Ha! Ah, I feel like this is okay. Oh, I say that right when I miss the corner. I feel like no one's going to be able to tell. Alright, and now the moment of truth. The top bit. This is an angle brush. I honestly really love this Urban Decay eyeliner set. It was gifted to me because I'm a bit of a cheapskate and I probably wouldn't spend this much money on... Actually, never mind I said that because I literally have like Dior powder. Ah, oh, look at that. It's not too bad for being on the wrong hand. I feel like that could easily be a lot worse. <laughs> Knocking over it that I didn't just jinx myself. It's so weird like doing the opposite twists and angles. <gasps> I think it was okay. Honestly, I'm not too disappointed in this. I think it's actually kind of turning out okay-ish. Like presentable, like, I'll I'll go outside with this. Uh, before I do my eye 
lashes. I'm going to do my eyebrow because I don't have to do much for it because I don't know how to do my brows. So you know how girls have like such gorgeous brows and they do like the fade to dark? I can't seem to work out how people do that. Like eyebrows are wizardry. So all I do, because I'm so pale, is kind of just colour in my eyebrow with this brown pencil to make them a little bit more visible. But I don't actually know how to do my brows, so I just draw on top of them and hope <laughs> it works. And so far nobody said anything, so I'm going to assume that it's okay. And then I just like use the lid brushy thing to literally just brush it in. And I know most people when they're showing you stuff, they put their hand behind it so it goes into focus. Can't do that right now, so sorry for giving you all blurry stuff, but I'm, I'm trying. But yeah, now I just brush it in so they look natural. And all the hairs are like in the right direction. And eyebrows, easy peasy done because I don't know what I'm doing. Mascara. Now my mascara that I use pretty much all the time that's not underwater. I have waterproof mascara for anything where I'm a mermaid or I'm underwater but anytime I'm not in water I literally just use this because I can get freebies of them every single year and like I said before natural cheap steak. Slab at heart. We're, we're just cheap steaks. It is the My Free Camps mascara. I also have the My Free Camps lipstick lip gloss thing it's like colored lipstick but it's also lip glossy i think it's coconut oil based because it goes on really smooth but dries like matte but yeah i have the my free camps mascara and lipstick because we get them for free with every show so every time i'm at sexpo i'll take two or three and because i do all the shows around australia it lets me build up so i have literally used the my free camps mascara and lipstick exclusively almost daily for like all my makeup stuff for literally years and i never have to pay for it so woo, winning thank you and that's um if you know what my free camps is <laughs> you know if you don't know what it is you might not be old enough to know so don't maybe don't google that all right i can twist unlock and now wrong hand mascara <laughs> i feel like this is the more dangerous and deadly one and if i'm gonna poke my eye out like this is probably gonna be the time when that's gonna happen oh how do i do this Maybe I can kind of like just close my eye on the mascara wand. Ah, I got it up on my eyelid. Honestly, I'm not great at the mascara part, even when I'm using my normal hand. And being like a ginger, I have invisible eyelashes, so... Mascara is like needed, but I don't think it's too bad. I mean, I got some on like upper eyelids, but I don't think it's too obvious. At least like the camera, I feel like is a little bit lenient there. Uh, you don't notice mistakes as much, I feel. And I just poked myself in the eye. Oh, I don't think I did too bad. I and mean, I got some on my eyelid again and I poked myself in the eye, but I don't think it's too, too bad. Like, you can tell that I'm wearing makeup, but it doesn't really seem like screaming out that I'm doing it with <laughs> my wrong hand. And it kind of looks like possible everyday natural makeup. Well, natural. It looks like possible everyday normal makeup, sort of, I think, right? Or am I just like in denial and it really does look like a clown put it on? Anyway, next part, I've got my concealer. I actually got this concealer because it says it's waterproof tattoo covering concealer, but I got it in like the cheap part of Target where you get like NYX makeup. And honestly, this ends up being like really good. I liked it. And I just kind of use it to hide the bags under my eyes because I binge watch Disney Plus or Netflix or whatever and get, get enough sleep. <laughs> Let's just hide the bags. Hide the bags. 
and I think my skin is kind of okay. I might just hide some of the redness there. And... Like, I'm lucky that I don't really deal with like acne or anything. Hey, blending! <laughs> blending without ruining my eyeliner, hopefully. Kind of works. Blended hiding the sins. <laughs> Alrighty. Now this bit, I actually just use this brush because I feel like I need to use it to put on the foundation, and then I blend with this big flat one again. But that's really because I have no idea what I'm doing. But I feel like I should use more brushes, <laughs> so I like probably use them wrong. And that's just my little disclaimer. For I'm probably using these wrong. I just feel like I should use more than the same three brushes for everything so yeah I'm gonna use this to apply and then this one to blend because it's the fat one and this is like the soft smooth one use my leg to hold the brush so I can open my makeup forever ultra ID the Sephora one I literally just went into the store and I asked for them like <laughs> what foundation do you recommend because my last foundation started giving me like little tiny red dot breakout things so I think my skin started not liking it maybe because I'm getting older or I don't know and they recommended this one since I usually work like online and in front of stage lights and stuff so again don't really know what I'm doing but I put little drops on and then I kind of like put some on and rub it in a little bit and then I blend with the fat base one. But yeah, I just kind of smooth it down and hope that it kind of works. But honestly, like there are some incredible makeup artists online. Um, not even like just the controversial kind, he who will not be named. I think you know what I'm talking about, but like some incredibly amazing ones like Nikki Tutorial and stuff. But to be honest, I always feel like makeup is a lot more forgiving than a lot of people make it out to be. And like, there's, yeah, there's some incredible artists around. But often if you just like dab and blend enough, it doesn't matter if you don't really know what you're doing. It kind of just seems to like work out. <laughs> Maybe that's a super privileged thing to say. I don't know. I just always feel like it just kind of works out. As long as I brush and dab enough, it would just work. I mean, like right now, I'm literally using the wrong hand. And honestly, I, don't, I feel like it's not turning out that different from what I usually do. And this bit just feels nice because this brush just, it's, it's really soft. And I it feel like it just feels really nice. I probably use way more makeup than I need to doing it with this two brush way but it feels good and now the blending on the neck get my frizzy frizzy hair out the way I naturally have quite thick and curly hair which does not like brushing at all like brush hair brushing it doesn't hates brushing and normally I just brush it out in the shower with conditioner and my fingers but um it was getting super like matted since I couldn't really brush it properly and I just grabbed a comb and went through it before I washed and conditioned it sort of yesterday. Washing your hair with one hand is a bit of a challenge. So I was kind of like lying back in a bubble bath to rinse it off. And now it's just super frizzy. And I don't know if it's because I couldn't really rinse it properly or if it's because I took to it with a hairbrush yesterday. Anyway, then the blend into the neck so you can't see like that really bold line. And again, it feels it's a nice brush. It feels nice. And then I get the that one again and just like dab it because whenever I need to blend things and I'm painting like acrylics on canvas style painting not on my face painting then like, like dabbing up and down with a dry brush has been really good for blending in the paints so you get a nice soft line it's not harsh and I guess since I was a kid I kind of just assumed it's the same for makeup if I just blend afterwards I don't have to worry about any like harsh lines or bits that I missed and messed up because it helps to like 
blend it all in together. But as I said before, you know, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just kind of smish stuff on my face and hope for the best. And so far, and like, boo, I guess 15 years or so I've been wearing makeup, it's kind of worked out. I mean, more than 15 years. I think I've been wearing makeup for like 20 years now. Because I was wearing makeup as a kid quite often, even though my school had a really strict no makeup policy. Like, you weren't allowed to wear any makeup if your hair was below shoulder length, just above the collar length of the uniform. We weren't allowed to have it out, it had to be all up, not even just partially up. Like, it was really strict rules. But I was a rebel and a rule breaker, and I broke the rules so I could wear makeup to school. I had one guy when I was in high school. He came right up to me when we were near the bag thing before class and he was just like, Avalon, I've always wondered, how come your hair is red but your eyelashes are black? This was in high school, folks, high school. And that's what one of the boys asked me there. And I was just kind of like staring at him blankly for a bit before I'm like, mascara. But yeah, that, ha that happened. And this isn't even like early high school. It wasn't like eighth grade or anything. This was either grade 11 or grade 12 because it was outside my ancient history class and that would have been yeah grade 11 or grade 12 so yeah <laughs> anyway final bit powder so i use this really puffy brush for powder and i feel like that's actually correct so yeah and i just it just it has a little puffle on the top but i took it out because i never used the puffle that came with it and it just kind of got in the way of the little holes to get the powder out so i got rid of the puffle i didn't throw it out though as i you know it's an expensive brand i feel like i should have kept it but i don't even put it in the box so i don't know what the point of that is all right i'm gonna tap tap and powder powder good enough because everyone always talks about powdering their nose well like in old timey movies and tv shows they do isn't that like the point of the powder room to go in and powder your nose? Tap, tap. Tap, tap. I don't know why I tap, but I do. Oh, I guess the taps to get rid of excess powders. Powder, powder. So that my skin looks nice and smooth and even. And it hides all those freckles, which for some reason have started coming in. I forgot to tap. Oh, well. So now my skin can seemingly look smooth and flawless. Woo! <laughs> In the blending of the neck. With my hair all in it. So yay! The skin part is done. Now, for the blush, I actually cheat. I use eyeshadow, which I suppose you're not supposed to. But honestly, I find that it works like I have a blush but I don't like it very much um, I had several blushes that I'm not a huge fan of that's the wrong brush so now I just kind of use the pinky brown eyeshadow and honestly I like it better because I feel like it complements my sparkly highlighter better and it matches my eye makeup because it's literally on my eye makeup <laughs> So I just do it to highlight the cheekbones, but not too much because I don't want to have like a big rouge granny cheeks. Does that work? And now highlighter, the most fun part. And sometimes like I use eyeshadow for that, like I would use the really white, the top one. But most often I get this, which actually isn't highlighter. It's loose glitter that I got at one of the pole dancing festivals. But it's super sparkly. I can't really show too much. But yeah, it's just like a super sparkly loose glitter. And I just dab it on the lid. And I find like it's sparkly, it's pink. And this has worked as my highlighter for like 
five or six years now. It just lasts forever. I'm honestly not entirely sure what highlighter is supposed to do on your face. I just like it because it's sparkly. So I, again, don't really know if I'm actually putting it on right. But it's sparkly and that's what I like best. I mean, when I was younger, I used to literally just get like the body glitter sparkles and put it in that same region. And I have some cool little sparkly things now that I use as mermaid makeup. And that's just, again, sparkly in that particular region. I'm finishing it off with the My Free Hand lipstick. The only downside is the only one we get at the Australian Sex Bow at least is this brownie color, which luckily works for me because it kind of matches with my hair and I get a lot of compliments on it. But I also wear a lot of red lipstick and I really wish we had a red version. But otherwise I just have to, I guess, I guess I have to buy some of my lipsticks. Oh, please don't mess this up. And then I finish it off with this um, I Heart Revolution fixing spray because it's vanilla and coconut and it smells like vanilla. So spraying vanilla all over my face at the end and it smells, I forgot about my hand and I gripped too hard in that hurry. And spraying vanilla fixing spray because it smells like vanilla. makeup completely with the wrong head and honestly I feel like it's not too bad it kind of looks like my everyday makeup it doesn't look too off like I would be fine with going outside with my face like this but yeah this is my makeup with my right hand I'm left-handed so it's technically my wrong hand but still done yay <laughs> I feel like this is a super super duper long video so if you stayed here this whole time while I was doing my face and just chatting nonsense thank you for staying this long um I really appreciate it I enjoy doing this really light-hearted casual video and honestly if you stay online for this very long nonsensical video thank you I love you you are fantastic and yeah I hope that everyone has an opportunity or, well, not so much a reason because, I mean, this is my reason and that kind of sucked. I hope everyone has the opportunity to at least one day try doing the makeup with the wrong hand just to see how it looks because, to be honest, I am pleasantly surprised and I feel like maybe I can even try tackling my hair now because my hair is, like, awful after a week of not being able to do much with it. But, yeah. Anyway. Thanks so much for joining me and inspiring me to try and do something with my face despite basically disabling myself for a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs>